Welcome back to Comics History and Superhero Reviews. Today we are going to um, unbox, unpackage a comic book that arrived from Things From Under the World, a uh, Portland, Oregon comic book store and distributor. This is our first package we have received from them and so I'm rather curious as to the condition of the book. Um, there's one book in here uh, according to the email that uh, they sent. Um, and there should be another box coming today or tomorrow. We'll take a look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up, see the condition, look at the cover, and uh, then I'm going to read it in a separate video uh, after the video. And then I will do a review of that comic book. So this is supposedly a Batman book based on the email in my pre-order. All right, so let's take a look and see what we have here, okay? So. Package looks pretty good. I was actually expecting a bigger box, but there's two orders apparently. They sent this one separately. So this was sent on uh, Wednesday and it arrived on Friday, which is pretty good service, I think. Um, just for the record, the uh, uh, I live in the Seattle area, so that's not that far to go. Uh, they advertise seven to 10 day delivery. I got it in three, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and open this puppy up see what we have looks pretty securely packaged okay you can see their logo here things from other world or tfa.com since 1979 so let's see what we have here hmm ooh ooh I do believe the email lied. Oh, okay. This is not what the one I expected. This is actually, uh huh. All right. I expected a bigger box. So this is a nice surprise. Let's take a look here. Ooh. So um, they have an optional bag and board uh, availability for an extra twenty five cents per comic. I have. My own, <laughs> excuse me, own bags and boards here, so uh, I didn't pay for that extra. Hmm. All right, so this is a happy uh, surprise. I expected one comic, uh, a Batman comic, but instead this is the um, several that, so a couple new ones and a few back orders that I missed. One reason I'm going with things from other world is my local comic shop, which is excellent, is in a neighboring community and traffic around here is horrible and getting worse and the possibility of going up there after work on a weekday is well not something to think about with a sane mind and weekends are usually busy so decided to try out this uh, service thus far i'm happy um there's another one another package out there in the mail might be arriving today i thought uh this is the other one but we have the new superman number one Brian Michael Bendis. He came over from the X-Men and Marvel. Um, he's a very good writer. <coughs> Excuse me again. So some of the back issues I was going for, I, I have the Man of Steel number one, which is Bendis's first full comic book. I wanted to back that up and get the rest of them. Uh, so here's three. Here's Man of Steel four. Hmm. Man of Steel five. Hey, that looks familiar. Hmm. Looks like the Doomsday cover from like a long time ago. Man of Steel number two. Okay, that's the next one I need to read. And then we saw this already. Just got Detective Comics 984. As you can probably guess, I'm a fan of Superman and Batman. But uh, I like a lot of characters, as you'll see as we do the unboxing unpackaging videos for the other ones that arrive so pleasantly surprised so i'm a little bit worried about the other one the other package which has uh supposed to have batman 51 it's not here yet we'll see if it arrives today it's a little early still so i am happy with this i'm going to be looking at these and reviewing them so if you uh, want to check out our reviews subscribe to our channel and you'll get updates when we review them. So quite happy. So 
Superman and Batman, the world's finest. All right. Thank you for watching this uh, unboxing, unpackaging video of Superman 1, Man of Steel 2, 3, 4, 5, and Detective Comics 984. So, until next time, this is Comics History and Superhero Reviews, signing off. Be sure and subscribe. Thanks.